Hi everyone, my name is Jamie Lawyer. I'm the Chief Experience Officer at the Rood Museum of Art, a museum that's dedicated to Himalayan art and ideas, located in New York City. We're coming to you during these incredibly difficult times, and we hope that the art from our collection can help you navigate what's happening within you and in the world around you. So every day that the museum should have been open, from Thursdays to Mondays, we'll be bringing you these short videos with practices that range from meditation to musical performances that hopefully provide you a little bit of relief. This week, with the help of meditation teacher, Kate Johnson, we'll learn how to use breathing and our bodies to help us make sense of this ever-changing landscape. Let's take a look at the art. Here, we're looking at a beautiful painting from the 16th century from Tibet of Buddha Shakyamuni, the founding teacher of Buddhism. And we can recognize this as the Buddha because of a few of his marks or characteristics, such as the knot that we see on the top of his head, known as an Ushnisha, which represents his superhuman wisdom, his long earlobes, which acknowledge his once princely life that he left in order to pursue a different way of understanding the world. And finally, we see him seated here in a meditative posture with his left hand on his lap, his palm facing up, and his right hand touching the ground. This gesture of touching the earth is an important moment in the life of the Buddha. After sitting underneath a Bodhi tree meditating, he touched the ground so the earth could bear witness to his awakening, where he realized the true nature of everything. Now, when I think about the importance of touching the earth today, I think about the power that our relationship to the earth and the ground really can mean during this specific time in our world. And I'm thinking about that feeling I'm sure we are all aspiring to have, which is how can we feel more grounded? And meditation teacher, Kate Johnson, is going to be leading us in an exercise inspired by the earth touching gesture to help us figure out how we can connect with the earth and maybe get a little bit more grounded. Now here's Kate. Hi, my name is Kate Johnson. I'm a meditation teacher and sustainability coach. And I'm excited to be here today offering a practice that is inspired by this image of Shakyamuni Buddha in which he places his hand on the earth. And that earth touching gesture is um, it's a sacred gesture. It's an iconic gesture. It's not that one that we'll be you know, repeating in any concrete way today necessarily, but we will draw inspiration from this gesture and exploring our own relationship with the earth element and the ways in which the earth might be a support for us in these particular times. So meditation with the earth element has been a practice that um, appears in many different meditation traditions. And it's often said to be an antidote for um, kind of what happens in times of great fear when uh, fear is most associated with the air element. And there's this way in which the fear can kind of keep us all in our heads or kind of feeling like hovering up off the ground. Earth element is said to be a way to settle, to connect with stability and support in such a way that we can be useful to, you know, not only ourselves, but also others. So if you'd like to do this practice with me, go ahead and close your eyes now or um, focus them to the space in front of you and start to actually feel the ways in which your body is supported by the earth elements around you, which are materials that come from the earth or materials that are kind of hard and stable. So you might notice the way that your feet feel on the floor, the way that your seat is supported by the cushion or chair that you're sitting in or whatever you're resting on. And see if you can find a way to allow your body to deepen its connection with what it's resting on. So the sense of contact, support, stability, resting that is an embodiment of the earth element.
See if you can sense that somewhere below this chair and this floor and maybe the next floor is the earth itself. And allow your body to rest on the body of the earth. And now bringing your awareness to the earth element that exists inside of your body, the places in your body that are denser, the bones, the teeth, seeing them in your mind's eye, feeling them, their density, the way they give the body structure. And allow your felt experience of the earth element inside of your body and the earth element outside of your body to mingle. So we have a sense of earth element inside body, earth element outside body, same earth element. And now from this place of really contacting the sense of earthiness and support and grounding that's available, start to move your body in a way that makes a gesture that expresses for you the feeling of being grounded. And kind of moving your body and finding whatever posture that might mean for you. Good. And then holding that posture for a moment, imprinting that gesture in your awareness, and finally let it go, dissolving it. Take a couple of deep breaths and open your eyes or lift your gaze. So just a reminder that whatever happens, whoever it happens to, it's all happening on the earth. And um, while the earth has been through a lot lately, um, it's still there for us, both in a very material way and also in a felt experience way in each moment. So the next time you get up and start moving around your space, feeling the um, feet contacting the floor, remember earth element, earth element. Take a moment to feel the earth element inside your body, outside your body, and embody your groundedness by connecting with that sense experience. I hope that this image of Shakyamuni Buddha and his earth touching gesture stays in your mind. I hope that the experience of embodying earth energy and feeling the earth element inside and outside the body um, supports your awareness. And if ever you feel unstable, please try this centering thought, kind of like a mantra. I trust the presence of the earth. And when you say it, remember that the earth element is supporting you and inside of you so that you can support others. So thank you so much for your practice. Uh, please comment below, stay connected, and I look forward to practicing with you again soon.